Today, Microsoft released their first big update to Power BI in 2025, and boy, was it a big one. It's legitimately going to change the way I work with Power BI moving forward. I already have been using it, and man, it's it's a big update, and it's it's really going to change my workflow. So let's talk about it. You see, at the start of 2024, Microsoft announced this new language that's called TMDL, or Tabular Model Definition Language. And essentially, the idea was that TMDL was going to replace what they called TOM, which was Tabular Object Model, in defining a semantic model in code. The advantage of TMDL is that it was super easy to read. You could edit both the Power Query M code as well as the DAX measures all in this nice format. And they had a VS Code extension. And honestly, it's, it's a really cool language. But the problem with it for the average user was that writing in TMDL was a pain. You needed to use a third-party tool. I released a video on how you could download and then redeploy a model using C sharp, but like no one's going to do that in their day to day workflow. And so TMDL really hasn't gone that far in the community, despite its potential. But today, Microsoft released a preview feature called TMDL view that allows you to edit a semantic model completely in TMDL using uh, Power BI Desktop. So this is a preview feature that I enabled, but what it allows me to do is drag in a semantic model and actually edit the model just piece by piece here, just by simply changing text, right? I want to change the name of this measure. I go cogs with a Z, just deployed it. It deploys the changes, right? I want to go change the format string. I can just change it right here in text. I want to do... Uh, a control H and go find and replace. I can just quickly search through the entire semantic model. Not only that, I can also see all of my M query code, all of my partitions, all of my lineage tags, all of my measures in the same screen. And on top of that, TMDL is way more compatible with version control and deployment pipelines. So making it this much, this, this accessible, I, I can basically guarantee you just changed not only my workflow, but probably the workflow of most business intelligence Power BI developers in the world. So yes, as a preview feature, yes, there's going to be bugs. Am I using it tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Am I using it today? Yes. I, this is honestly an unbelievable improvement to the Power BI desktop app that I, I frankly wasn't expecting and I'm really excited to get to use. Uh, one call out though, just one thing, you are editing a text editor, right? A lot of you guys, if you're used to editing the name of measures and then deploying, you're used to it then going through and finding that measure and the other measures. This doesn't do that, right? So I changed the name of this measure to cogs with a Z. It didn't go through into my other measures and find cogs, right? So if I now go back into this semantic model over here, you'll notice I have a bunch of errors. So that's something people are going to have to get used to. But man, this is an incredible efficiency improvement with Power BI. So let me know, are you excited for this new Power BI feature, or at least as excited as I am? If you are, let me know how you think it's going to improve your workflow down in the comments. And if you're interested in Power BI, SQL, business intelligence in general, consider giving me a follow. I'm currently working on a Learn SQL for Free video series that I'm pretty excited about where I am teaching you SQL from the ground up, as well as releasing, you know, the occasional Power BI video uh, for those of you who just like Power BI. So with that, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good evening.